Well, hello to all of our St. Philip's families. I was thinking this week, has there ever been a time in our lives when science has been so important? Phrases like listen to the science or the science says has been repeated throughout 2020 as we follow the advice of the scientific community. And of course, we're also praying for the scientists and researchers around the globe who are racing to find a vaccine. On this Week in Review video, as we focus in on our young scientists here at school, my hope is that some of our own students will one day also be involved in such important work and be a blessing to our world. Hello, my name's Tim Nurkham. I'm Head of Science here at St Phillips. Uh, this week has been National Science Week and we've been celebrating uh, in our school community here this week by launching a number of events uh, at lunch times, uh, during lessons uh, and in assemblies just to try and raise awareness of science and its importance in our everyday lives. Uh, the theme for this year has been Deep Blue for Science Week and it's really looking at the sustainability of our oceans uh, and things that we as humans can do to try and ensure that sustainability uh, can go on into the future. Uh, we've had things at lunchtime such as uh, fish dissections, an uh, uh, initiative called Cinema, looking at various scientific films that people have made from around the world for students to come and drop in and watch. Uh, and through doing some uh, quizzes uh, and even a national science competition during some of our lessons this week. Science has really grown in popularity with our students here over the last few years. Uh, so much so that we've been able to launch a brand new course in 2021 called Earth and Environmental Science, which we've got some new students coming into uh, for the first time this year. Students here report uh, just their enjoyment uh, and, and interest and engagement in science and how it really helps them to relate to the everyday occurrences in the natural world. The new science courses being offered here really encourage our students to think creatively and critically uh, about the world around them. Uh, lots of the content is around students themselves driving inquiry questions that, that guide their learning. And it's our hope that as students pass through their science lessons here at St Phillips, they are indeed able to think critically about the world around them, to solve problems, uh, all of which are going to be really useful skills to set them up both for their HSC and in their life beyond. My name's Alana and I'm a Year 10 science student. I really like how content-based science is and there's just so much to learn and I really love how it's super relatable to everything that you do every day. Next year in Year 11 I'm going to be studying Chemistry and Biology. In the future I see myself going to university and studying Biomedical Science and I would really like to take that path into the like as a career and do research into like neuroscience or another field similar to that. Hi, my name's Corbin. I am currently in year 11 studying both bio and chemistry. In the future, I see myself using science to study paleontology or even paleoanthropology at university to better understand the history of our world and how we came to be. It's a human desire to want to make sense of things, of what we experience and what we see in the world. And the study of science provides that joyful discovery of the beauty and the complexity of God's creation. I think our Christian beliefs and our Christian foundations actually enhance our scientific education as it provides a deeper context and an explanation of why it is that science works. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.